Hey everybody, this will be part 18 of the character rigging tutorial series. So this video we're going to talk about how to uh, refine some skin weights for some of these helper joints uh, and then the twist joints. So let's go back to our hip and let's create a couple of test keyframes for our hip. Uh, we'll rotate it forward and then we'll rotate it backward and we'll look at some of the problem areas here. All right. So what we have is some pretty good motion of the lower leg is bending to forming all right. But if I pull the leg all the way up, um, it looks a little unnatural there. And what that is really happening is because of just the natural way it blends that motion. And here's where our helper joints for our hip can come into play. We can come over here with this joint and helper joints can be moved or rotated. So what we're actually gonna do is when that leg is up like this, we can be able to move this joint around so that way it can blend that deformation a little bit better for us. So. Uh, what we're going to do is go back into our skin weights and go find our left hip front helper. Okay, and let's make sure our brush is a little larger. We'll put a value of 0.1 and just blend it up from that. And what we want to do is slowly add some weight to this hip uh, helper joint. So we don't want to add a lot. We even put our value down to 0.05. Kind of blend this a little more here. Blend that up and around it. There you go. And let's see what we can do there. So if I pull the leg back up, and with that weight, that joint, the helper joint, and come over here and try to uh, move it further away. And it's alright if it pops out of the body some, uh, to be able to see how that can help correct that weird deformation that we have going on. There you go. So that looks pretty good. So we may want to increase the uh, amount of weight there. So that way we don't have to pull it too far away from the body. So let's go back and then let's go refine the skin weights a little more. So let's put a value of 0.1 again. So maybe around this area we're just going to increase it some more. So that way the hip can uh, blend itself a little more within these areas. Let's work our way out more. Good. All right, so let's try that. All right, so let's go back to frame 20. And let's take that hip joint, the helper joint, move that out. There you go. That's looking a lot better there. Still have some weird areas in the middle that we could go refine some more with. Um, and maybe that just means we're going to work our way down uh, to lower, lower areas. Let's go back. And uh, let's do a value point 0.1. And let's just start blending it down here more. Even more down here. There you go. Maybe a little bit into there. Work our way out a little bit. All right, let's try that. So we're just going to continue to refine this helper joint skin weights that a little bit more and more. There you go. It's looking a little better. So that way I don't have to push it out too much. Now we do want you know some natural kind of creases of where the clothing would come in, um, but then maybe at this point we can go back uh, and blend it a little more. And we need a little bit more blend in there. Go. Let's try that. Go back to frame 20. There we go. That's already looking a lot better there. A little bit of a pinching area in there. So we'll go back in this pose. Uh, helper, hip. Maybe we'll add a little bit more. Oh, that's too much. So we need to pull it back to the hip there. Let's go back to our hip. Well, we're going to go back and forth here to find whichever one is going to look more natural. Correct that a little bit. There you go. Keep playing around with it some. There you go. That looks a little better there. So we still have some kind of pinching areas or whatnot. Yeah, that should correct a little bit. A little vertex in there that we need a little more there. There you go. So that way it kind of corrects any minor or major areas that we might have here. Let's go back to our, our back hip as well. There we go. Uh, back hip helper. And we don't have as much you know oddness that's going on here, but we do want to kind of keep that mass. So we're losing here is we're losing the mass of the butt as we're bending it. Um, so let's go back to the value point one and add some more weight back here. So we're gonna blend around. Uh, work our way around the leg, so maybe we'll do 0.05. Just 
some more weight here. There we go. So when the leg is back, we can take that back helper joint, kind of blend that area back out some. So it's still too pointy here. Um, but uh, we're going to play around with this until we really need to add more up here, I think. There we go. So we can have more definition in what that uh, butt area is doing. So we'll continue to refine this back and forth so that way we still, we're not going to lose as much of the mass here. We can kind of move it around as we need to. There you go. So helper joints can be really helpful for that. Uh, twist joints can be helpful for correcting any weird twisting that's going on. So this will be our upper leg twist. Uh, let's remove the um, the forward leg motion. So go back to frame zero on our hip and right click on the uh, transforms and go to break connections. And then we're going to go back and kind of paint on the upper leg twist here. So we'll do like a point one and around that twist uh, joint. We don't want to put a value of 100, but we do want to kind of blend this all the way around the leg, a small value of 0.1 or something like that. And then blend to the uh, vertices above that. So we'll do 0.5, blend that this way. And then blend down here. This might be too much down here, but we'll see. Good. All right, so what we're looking for is the ability to kind of slightly twist the leg. Go to correct any kind of small, small adjustments that we might need to do. Uh, we can also allow it to kind of move a little bit as well. So we might need a little bit more weight here, a little bit more than 0.1. So maybe 0.1 again, and then maybe this, these couple center lines that are right near it, we're going to increase that more. Go. Helper joints and twist joints can really be nice to correct any weird deformations that we might have. So now, uh, you know, we can move it as we need to to correct that issue or slightly rotate it so that part of the leg is back to where we need that to be. So let's go adjust the helper joints or the, um, the twist joint down here in the lower leg, lower leg twist. So we'll do, we'll just start with a 0.2 value. Do a value of 0.2 around that center calf area. There you go. And then we will do a value of 0.1. This next loop up. Okay. A value of 0.1 down here. There you go. And then a value of 0.05 for this bottom loop of the pants. But these are really helpful to correct any other issues that we might have. So we'll do blending that up here. There you go. So let's go back through and let's take that twist joint. Allows us to kind of twist and maybe even move it over some to correct any weird kind of pinching or anything. It's not meant for drastic motion like this. So of course we don't want that to look like that. But this is a really small subtle adjustment to correct any weird twisting or bending that that area might have. All right, so we do have a couple other helper and twist joints on the arms. So for the shoulder, what this will be helpful for is when the arm is up here like this and we're gonna get some weird kind of crunching going on here. So let's do, make sure we have any other keyframes down here. Yep, uh, let's do some simple uh, keyframes. Put the shoulder up. Now the shoulder really wouldn't be able to go up this high anyway without the use of the collarbone. Uh, but to help with the kind of crunching of the top of the shoulder, we're going to go find uh, left shoulder helper. Where's our left shoulder helper? The downside when you have a lot of uh, joints is that you have to search through and find them all. Uh, left shoulder, top helper. All right, so let's add a value of, um, let's do point 0.1 again. Maybe a small brush. And on top of the shoulder, we're just going to paint some values on the top there. Maybe that's about your 0.3 now. 
to correct that. We will blend outward a little more. There you go. And now let's go test this out. So it's a frame on 20. It's all right, but if I come back here, you know, we need to do a little bit more blending. Uh, but you can start to see, we can start to get some more correction uh, with this helper joint. So we just need to correct this area right here a little more. So let's uh, add a little bit more there. Goes around. Go and start blending this a little bit more so it's heavier of a skin weight in this middle area where we have that trouble issue going on. All right, so now let's try it. Go 20. With a helper joint, uh, we can come back and pull that out. There you go. So it's not crunching in as much. So during the animation, we would want to come back and adjust the helper joints as well. There you go. So that allows us to kind of correct those areas. We can go back to the twist and add a little bit of twist here. Value of 0.1. So we'll go to the upper, move our hips out of the way. Uh, upper arm twist. Let's go find that. Upper arm twist. There you go. Uh, value of point 0.1, blend that all the way around. Yeah, we do a little more in the middle there. All right, do a small brush and blend outward here. So we do want, we don't want these little helper or twist joints to be kind of too crazy of motion, but we do want it to and blend around. And we'll do. 0.05, then all of these kind of blend outward as well. There you go. So that way that'll kind of help out with some smaller little twists. We can adjust the bicep or whatnot to, uh, as we move it around. We want to make sure we don't like have the inside of the shirt sleeve clip, so it's not going to be pulling it too much, but just really for a small subtle changes in what the arm's doing there. So last one is the lower arm twist. So let's go back and add uh, that skin weight there. Left lower arm twist. Now let's do by uh, 0.1. Put that around there. All right, there we go. We'll do that one as well. So this is gonna be really nice to help with raise an ulna. Uh, so maybe we'll do a little bit more of weight blending there. Higher value. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, let's do a point five. Blend that out here. That's going to affect like all of this area. Good. We'll do down to the wrist. We'll brush size. All right, let's try that. So with uh, this helper joint, that's going to really help with that radius and ulna twisting. Um, so basically as the wrist would turn inward, we would then come back to this lower arm twist and help that twist around as well. So that's going to be some really nice, helpful, um, uh, helpful both uh, twist and overall deformation helper joints as well. So you can also add other helper joints and twist and joints for things like the uh, stomach area that might crunch in a little too much. Um, but that's a way that we can refine skin weights to helper and twist joints to correct deformations in areas that might be over deformed when these major joints bend. One final thing we can do is select our geometry again and go to skin mirror skin weights. Uh, since we made adjustments to the left side, we want to make sure they're copied over to the right side. Mirror across YZ, direction positive to negative. Move that over. Let's go test that out with the twist joint on this side. Yep, good to go there. About this one. Yep. Let's take um, our helper joint. Can move that up and down to correct that. Let's look at our front hip. Yep. Back hip. Yep. And then look at our twist over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then lower twist down there. Pretty good. All right, so that wraps up uh, skinning the body of the character.